Wow, did I ever just get an earful from the podiatrist. I've just been for a medical pedicure. If I get a few of those a year, at least a couple of them, it really has been a help. Wearing high heels for years really messed up my toenails, actually. Okay, so um, we were talking about, first of all, about computers. He, he, he likes Macs. And then computer security. And um, he was having some computer problems uh, this morning, so uh, with his professional computer. Uh, and um, so we started talking about computers. And then we started talking about, you know, spying and devices and what they can do. And, you know, if you can see it, it can see you, that kind of thing. And, um, oh, we started talking about various things, and, and, um, he said that he has a friend who recently went to Las Vegas, a French friend who recently went to Las Vegas, and was standing in line at the airport getting ready to leave, and, um, he was, he didn't have a watch, and he saw a security guard or something who was wearing one and got out of line to go ask him what time it was. And right away, you know, the security descended upon him and they told him to strip down in front of everybody. Oh, he was not a happy tourist and is never going back. And... I told him about my last visit to the United States three years ago. It was a little bit over three years ago. And how uh, unpleasant it was. And um, how I left after two nights. You know, I just did what I had to do. And I was able to see a couple of old friends. Um, they didn't look very good. And one of them has died since. Um... But uh, I was very unsettled by the airport security in the United States. Uh, New Yorkers had really changed, which is not unusual because it's often said that New York changes pretty much every five years. Uh, but New Yorkers used to be really sharp. At the very least, they were quite tense and rather you know, kind of jumpy, and um, I, I kept noticing that I had to ask simple questions like four or five times, and, and people didn't even seem to hear me at first, you know, everybody was like zonked. Now, I know 2010 was a very bad year for a lot of people, um, such as Americans, it was a horrible year for me. In fact, oddly, I did travel quite a bit that year. But, um, I just really thought, oh, this is just not, I don't know my own country anymore. Which is normal, I've been gone for almost 20 years. I've only been back three times since then. But I just said, this is it, I, I'm never coming back here again. And I felt really bad about it, and I still do. Um, but I just didn't feel okay there. And I often make comments about the French, which are not very nice. But uh, like this is this for me is normal now. Like, I, I was in here to get some cigarettes earlier. I still buy a pack of cigarettes every now and then. And, um, since I was early for my appointment, <coughs> I went and had a soda standing at the bar. It's called Ozank. And it's much cheaper if you do that and don't sit down. And, uh, everybody is so polite in there. These were it seemed to be an Asiatic family running the place. You know, everybody is, you know, please and thank you over here. 
even when you get on the bus, you're really supposed to say, you know, bonjour monsieur, bonjour madame. You're not supposed to just say bonjour, actually. You're supposed to carry it a little bit further and say monsieur or madame, or monsieur et dame, if, if it's a mixed group. Uh, and I was talking with the podiatrist about, um, a podiatrist are different over here in France, by the way. They can do a lot of different things for you that, that they can't do in the United States. It's, it's just different. <clears throat> the doctors are different over here. The nurses are different. Is that my bus? No, I don't think it's my bus. I want the 170. I think it's coming up. All right, I'm going to stop filming, I mean videoing so I don't annoy anybody.